Did you know that the most significant barriers to personal growth often lie within ourselves? In a world that bombards us with external distractions and relentless desires, we can easily become entangled in vices that hinder our true potential. If you want to cultivate a fulfilling and meaningful life, you need to embark on a journey of self-discovery and virtue. The truth is, the path from vice to virtue is not just a philosophical concept, it's a practical roadmap to inner strength and resilience. In this exploration, we will delve into the profound impact of indifference, excessive desire, anger, and the importance of cultivating virtue. We will uncover how these vices can infiltrate our lives and derail our progress, while simultaneously offering actionable insights and stoic wisdom to guide us toward a more virtuous existence. So, if you're ready to transform your life and embrace the power of virtue, let's dive into the journey from vice to virtue together. Number 1. Understanding the Vice of Injustice Imagine waking up to a world where fairness and equality are the norm. The sun shines brighter and there's a spring in your step, knowing that everyone around you is treated with respect and dignity. It feels good, doesn't it? We all have a deep-seated desire for justice, a longing for right over wrong. But as we shift from this euphoric vision to the reality around us, we often confront a harsh truth. Injustice permeates our societies, affecting lives in profound ways. Injustice can take many forms, from systemic discrimination and economic inequality to personal betrayals and injustices we face in our daily lives. We've all experienced moments when we've felt wronged, whether in a classroom, workplace or personal relationship. Perhaps you recall a time when a friend betrayed your trust or when you felt overlooked for an opportunity you rightly deserved. These memories can evoke a sense of anger or frustration, feelings that connect us to the broader human experience. It's a stark reminder that injustice isn't just an abstract concept, it is a lived reality that impacts our happiness and emotional well-being. To delve deeper into the vice of injustice, we must understand its roots and implications. Injustice arises when actions, laws or social norms deviate from fairness and ethical standards. It thrives on inequality, often amplifying divisions within communities and societies. Whether it's the injustice faced by marginalized groups or the unfair treatment of individuals based on gender, race or socio-economic status, the effects can be devastating. Reflect on your own experiences. How did these injustices make you feel? Perhaps they fueled your desire for change or ignited a passion for activism. This recognition can evoke nostalgia as we remember our own battles against unfairness, reminding us of the courage it takes to stand up against the odds. Now let's examine how the Stoic philosophy intersects with our understanding of injustice. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca spoke of virtue and ethics, emphasizing the importance of living a just life. They believed that while we may not have control over the actions of others, we do have control over our responses. In times of injustice, rather than allowing anger and resentment to dictate our actions, we can choose to respond with compassion, resilience and integrity. This perspective invites curiosity about how we can transform our understanding of injustice into a catalyst for personal growth and social change. How might embracing a stoic mindset empower us to navigate the injustices we encounter in our lives? Number 2. Cowardice. The Stoic Perspective on Fear. Picture a moment in your life when you faced a significant challenge a time when you felt a rush of fear course through your veins. Perhaps it was the anticipation of a job interview, the vulnerability of confessing your feelings to someone, or the trepidation of stepping into an unfamiliar situation. At that instant, there's a choice to be made to confront your fears or to shy away. 
The initial feelings of apprehension can be overwhelming, but overcoming that moment can lead to a profound sense of happiness and empowerment. However, what happens when we choose the path of cowardice? Cowardice, in the Stoic view, is more than just fear, it is the refusal to act in the face of that fear. It's the voice in your head that tells you to play it safe, to avoid risks, and to stay within your comfort zone. While fear is a natural human emotion, an instinctual response designed to protect us, cowardice paralyzes us. It keeps us from pursuing our goals and dreams, trapping us in a cycle of missed opportunities and regret. Think back to moments in your life when you allowed fear to hold you back. How did it feel to let that opportunity slip away? The sense of regret can be painful and linger long after the moment has passed. Understanding cowardice requires us to explore its roots and how it manifests in our lives. Societal expectations, past failures and personal insecurities can all contribute to our fear. The fear of judgment, of failure or of not living up to our potential can be stifling. Yet, in the teachings of Stoicism, we find a powerful antidote to this cowardice. Stoics believe that courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act despite it. This realization can be liberating. It invites us to reflect on our fears and confront them with curiosity rather than avoidance. What fears have shaped your life? What would you achieve if you could push past those boundaries? As we navigate our fears, it's important to remember that every great achievement in history has been accomplished by individuals who refuse to succumb to cowardice. Their stories evoke nostalgia, reminding us of the heroes and heroines in our own lives, those who took risks and inspired us to do the same. Perhaps it was a family member, a mentor, or even a public figure who exemplified courage in the face of adversity. Their legacies compel us to think about how we can apply the stoic principles of courage and resilience in our lives, what lessons can we learn from those who have faced their fears and emerged stronger? How can we apply these insights to foster a mindset of bravery in our own journeys? Number three, the pitfall of intemperance. Think back to a time when you indulged in something that brought you immense pleasure, a delicious meal, a night out with friends, or perhaps binge watching your favorite series. In the moment, it felt exhilarating and satisfying. Yet, as time passed, did you notice any negative repercussions? Perhaps you felt sluggish, guilty or unproductive. This contrast between the fleeting happiness of indulgence and the long-term consequences highlights the concept of intemperance, the lack of moderation in our actions and desires. Intemperance is often celebrated in a culture that equates excess with success. We're bombarded with messages that urge us to live life to the fullest, to indulge in every desire and to seek immediate gratification. While the pursuit of pleasure is a natural human inclination, intemperance leads to a myriad of issues, both personally and socially. It can manifest as overeating, substance abuse, or even spending beyond our means. The consequences are far-reaching. We jeopardize our health, relationships, and overall well-being. Reflect on your own experiences with excess. Can you recall moments where indulgence led to regret? These memories can evoke a sense of nostalgia as we recognize our shared struggles with moderation. The Stoics understood the dangers of intemperance and advocated for the practice of moderation. They believed that true happiness comes not from excess, but from a balanced approach to life. It's about savoring the moments that bring us joy while maintaining control over our desires. This perspective invites curiosity about how we can integrate stoic principles into our daily lives. How can we cultivate a mindset of moderation that enhances our well-being what strategies can we employ to resist the temptations of excess? As we reflect on the pitfalls of intemperance, we are reminded that moderation is not about deprivation, but about embracing the fullness of life in a sustainable way. 
It allows us to appreciate the simple pleasures without falling prey to excess. Each of us has the power to reshape our relationship with desire. So what small changes can we make to foster a more balanced approach to our lives? Number four, the consequences of indifference. Imagine standing in a bustling city, surrounded by the vibrant sounds of life, the laughter of children playing, the chatter of friends meeting for coffee, and the distant hum of traffic. It feels alive, a reminder of the beauty in human connection. Yet, as you observe this scene, you may notice a person sitting alone on the sidewalk, a look of despair etched on their face. In that moment, happiness and indifference intertwine. You feel a rush of warmth from the interactions around you, yet there's an unsettling realization that some are forgotten and ignored, left to suffer in silence. Indifference is one of the most insidious vices we encounter, it creeps into our lives like a thief in the night, often unnoticed until its effects are profound. While we might not recognize indifference as a vice in the same way we identify injustice or anger, its consequences are equally damaging. It's easy to turn a blind eye to suffering, whether it's in our personal relationships, communities, or the world at large. We often justify our inaction by convincing ourselves that our involvement wouldn't make a difference or we simply don't want to get involved. However, this very indifference erodes the fabric of our society and our connections with one another. As we transition from the initial feeling of happiness to a deeper understanding of indifference, we can reflect on the toll it takes on our emotional and mental well-being. Indifference creates a divide, not only between ourselves and those who suffer, but also within ourselves. It breeds apathy and disconnection, preventing us from forming meaningful relationships. When we ignore the struggles of others, we risk becoming emotionally numb, unable to connect with our own feelings or those of the people around us. This leads to a vicious cycle where indifference fosters loneliness, creating a world where everyone feels isolated in their struggles. Think back to a time when you witnessed someone in need and chose not to act. Perhaps it was a friend going through a difficult time, a colleague struggling with a project, or even a stranger who needed help. How did you feel afterward? Did guilt creep in? Did you rationalize your inaction? Those moments evoke nostalgia, reminding us that we have all faced situations where we could have reached out but chose not to. The memory of that choice can linger, leaving us to grapple with feelings of regret. Stoic philosophy encourages us to confront indifference head-on. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius emphasize the importance of empathy and recognizing our interconnectedness. They understood that our happiness is tied to the well-being of others. In this light, the Stoic approach invites curiosity about how we can cultivate a sense of compassion and awareness in our daily lives. What steps can we take to counteract indifference? How can we foster a deeper connection with those around us? By acknowledging the consequences of indifference, we empower ourselves to act with purpose and intention. We can choose to engage with the world rather than withdraw into apathy. This requires vulnerability and courage, but it can lead to transformative experiences. When we extend our hands to those in need, we not only uplift others, but also enrich our own lives. We create a ripple effect of kindness that fosters a sense of community and connection. So, what small acts of kindness can you incorporate into your life to combat indifference? Each gesture, no matter how small, contributes to a larger narrative of compassion. Number five, the danger of excessive desire. As you sit comfortably enjoying your favorite meal, you might feel a wave of contentment wash over you. The flavors dance on your palate and the warmth of satisfaction envelops you. But as the plate empties, do you find yourself reaching for more, even if you're already full? This moment encapsulates the struggle with desire, 
a natural human inclination that can quickly spiral into excessive longing, leading us away from contentment. Desire itself is not inherently negative. It can drive us to achieve our goals, fuel our passions, and enhance our experiences. However, when desire transforms into an insatiable craving, it becomes a dangerous force that distorts our perception of happiness. Excessive desire can manifest in various ways. Material possessions, relationships, status, and even fleeting pleasures. In our quest for more, we risk losing sight of what truly matters. Let's pause to consider the impact of excessive desire. Initially, it may ignite feelings of excitement and motivation. You might envision the new car you want, the promotion you aspire to, or the perfect relationship you seek. However, as the longing intensifies, it can lead to a sense of dissatisfaction and discontent. No matter how much we attain, the craving for more overshadows our achievements. This cycle creates a perpetual state of yearning, preventing us from appreciating what we already have. Reflect on your own experiences. When have you pursued something so fervently that it ultimately left you feeling empty? The realization can evoke nostalgia as we remember moments when desire overshadowed our ability to enjoy life's simple pleasures. The Stoics warned against the dangers of excessive desire, advocating for a mindset of moderation. They understood that true fulfillment comes not from the pursuit of external possessions, but from cultivating inner virtues. By focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and values, we can redirect our desires toward meaningful pursuits. This perspective invites curiosity about how we can shift our focus from external validation to internal satisfaction. What does it mean to find contentment in the present moment? How can we redefine our relationship with desire to create a more balanced life? To navigate the treacherous waters of excessive desire, we must cultivate mindfulness and self-awareness. This involves recognizing when our cravings begin to escalate and taking steps to rein them in. By practicing gratitude for what we already possess, we can shift our mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. Imagine waking up each day with a sense of appreciation for the relationships, experiences and opportunities in your life. How would this shift in perspective affect your overall happiness? Furthermore, the Stoics encourage us to align our desires with our values. Instead of chasing after fleeting pleasures, we can focus on cultivating virtues like wisdom, courage, and compassion. This realignment fosters a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment, allowing us to channel our desires into actions that enrich our lives and the lives of others. So, as you reflect on your desires, ask yourself, are they leading you toward a meaningful existence, or are they merely fueling an endless cycle of longing? By answering this question honestly, you can pave the way for a more balanced and fulfilling life. Number 6. The Impact of Anger on the Soul Imagine a moment of anger, a disagreement with a loved one, a frustrating encounter at work, or a disappointment in life's unexpected twists. In that instant, your heart races, your palms sweat, and a rush of heat envelops you. Anger feels powerful, it seems to give you strength. But as the intensity of the emotion fades, do you find yourself reflecting on the aftermath? What began as a surge of energy often leaves behind a trail of regret and hurt. Anger can be a double-edged sword. Initially, it may seem justified, a natural response to perceived threats or injustices. It can motivate us to take action to assert our boundaries or to challenge wrongs. However, when unchecked, anger morphs into a destructive force that impacts our mental and emotional well-being. It clouds our judgment and distorts our perceptions, making it difficult to see situations clearly. 
As we transition from happiness to understanding the consequences of anger, we must confront its toll on our relationships and our inner peace. Anger can damage our connections with others, creating rifts that may take time to heal. Think back to a time when anger led to hurtful words exchanged with a friend or family member. The emotional fallout from those moments can linger long after the anger has subsided, leaving scars on our relationships. The nostalgia of happier times can clash with the pain of unresolved conflicts, reminding us of the fragility of our connections. The Stoics had a profound understanding of anger and its impact on the soul. They viewed it as a vice that arises from our judgments and perceptions of external events. In their teachings, they emphasized the importance of recognizing that we cannot control the actions of others, but we can control our reactions. This realization invites curiosity about how we can manage anger constructively. What practices can we adopt to transform anger into a catalyst for positive change rather than a source of destruction? To navigate anger, we can cultivate mindfulness and self-reflection. When faced with anger, pause and take a moment to breathe deeply. This simple act can create space between the stimulus and your response, allowing you to choose a more measured reaction. Reflect on what triggered your anger. Is it a genuine threat, or is it a projection of your expectations and desires? This inquiry can reveal valuable insights, helping you to differentiate between what truly warrants your anger and what may simply be a misunderstanding or miscommunication. Furthermore, embracing empathy can be a powerful antidote to anger. When we consider the perspectives of others, we open ourselves to understanding their motivations and struggles. This practice can diffuse anger and foster compassion, allowing us to approach conflicts with a sense of curiosity rather than hostility. Number seven, cultivating virtue. The path to inner strength. Visualize standing at a crossroads, the sun rising before you, casting a warm glow on the path ahead. Each road diverges, representing different choices that will shape your journey. As you contemplate which direction to take, a sense of clarity washes over you. You realize that the true path lies not in external achievements or possessions, but in the cultivation of virtue, a journey inward that leads to profound transformation. Virtue is the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and represents the highest form of human excellence. It encompasses qualities such as wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, attributes that empower us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Unlike fleeting desires or superficial achievements, Virtues provide lasting fulfillment and inner strength. They serve as a compass, guiding our actions and decisions as we encounter life's trials. As we move from the happiness of potential to the deeper understanding of virtue, let's reflect on how these qualities shape our character. Cultivating virtue requires intentional effort and self-awareness. It's not simply about adhering to moral codes, it's about embodying these principles in our daily lives. Consider a time when you faced a difficult decision. Did you choose the path of integrity or did you succumb to temptation? Those moments of choice evoke nostalgia, reminding us of the power we hold in defining who we are. The Stoics believed that virtue is a skill that can be cultivated through practice and reflection. By engaging in self-examination and seeking opportunities for growth, we can strengthen our character and develop a deeper understanding of ourselves. This journey invites curiosity about how we can integrate virtue into our everyday lives. What small actions can you take to embody virtues like kindness, honesty and resilience? To cultivate virtue, we must prioritize self-discipline and commitment. This involves setting clear intentions and holding ourselves accountable for our actions. Reflect on your values. What virtues resonate most with you? How can you align your daily choices with those principles? By consistently practicing virtues, we gradually transform our character and build a foundation of inner strength. 
Moreover, surrounding ourselves with individuals who embody these virtues can inspire our growth. Engaging in meaningful conversations and learning from the experiences of others can illuminate our own paths. Seek out mentors or role models who exemplify the virtues you aspire to cultivate. Imagine the profound impact of having a supportive community that encourages you to strive for excellence. Ultimately, cultivating virtue is a lifelong journey, one that requires patience and perseverance. As we navigate the complexities of life, let's embrace the idea that true strength lies not in the absence of challenges, but in our ability to rise above them. By committing ourselves to the practice of virtue, we can navigate adversity with resilience and grace, emerging stronger on the other side. In this quest for inner strength, let's remember that each step we take toward cultivating virtue contributes to our growth as individuals. By aligning our actions with our values, we not only enrich our lives, but also inspire those around us to embark on their journeys of transformation. So, as you stand at the crossroads of life, choose the path of virtue, a path that leads to profound fulfillment and lasting inner strength. As we wrap up this exploration of the journey from vice to virtue, it's clear that embracing this path is essential for personal growth and fulfillment. Each step taken toward understanding and overcoming our vices not only strengthens our character, but also enriches our lives and the lives of those around us. So, if you've resonated with this message and are committed to making meaningful changes, drop a comment below. Let me know you've made it this far by writing 100. That way, we can celebrate the commitment of the 0.01% who truly strive to finish what they start. If you're serious about transforming your life and want to continue this journey with us, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals dedicated to self-improvement and embracing the power of virtue. Together, we can create a supportive environment where we uplift each other and foster lasting change. Your journey begins now.